Welcome back. This is part three of my installation of Corora onto a MacBook Pro. Uh, when you, you're done installing and you reboot and you pull the flash drive out and hold the option key down, this is what you'll see when it boots up. And this is the Mac bootloader. Now you'll notice that it says EFI boot. Um, the Mac bootloader doesn't know the difference between one distribution and another. So in this case, it's not going to say Corora. It's just going to say EFI boot. Now you'll notice that I don't have a recovery drive here. Um, I never did install one with this particular MacBook Pro, so you may see something uh, a little different. Uh, for example, a third choice of uh, Mac re recovery drive. Uh, you're going to select uh, EFI boot. And now you're going to get the choice of booting to Corora. Now this particular graphic of the spinning uh, dots there, uh, if you've got an ATI card uh, in the MacBook, you may see this graphic all kind of uh, pixelated out uh, going uh, horizontally across the screen. Uh, that's not a problem. Uh, it just doesn't appreciate it at that uh, uh, root level to show that very well. All right, here we are at the boot screen, and uh, I'll stop the recording here uh, with my iPhone to show you the actual bootloader, and I'll carry on uh, with the regular uh, screen capture video. Uh, I'll be right back. Here we are. We're booted up to... Uh, Corolla on our MacBook Pro and again here's the welcome screen that I showed you before uh, we're gonna close out of that and uh, some of the things that uh, you might want to do uh, and I'm not gonna go through a lot of this but you'll see how cinnamon I mean this is all stuff you can check out from other sources uh, the cinnamon desktop and all the uh, applications that are available to you on this particular uh, distribution. Uh, it's very well loaded. Uh, it sees my Mac drives and it sees uh, Mac formatted flash drives so it's got HFS plus already installed as, as uh, that sort of thing. Shot well for pictures. Uh, Samba is already installed. Uh, then there's FireLap. Now this is the app that we're going to use to uh, load the drivers for the wireless. Unfortunately, um, in a second or two here, uh, we're going to um, have to uh, run software update uh, because FireLap really doesn't want to run right now until we do the software updates. Um, so I'm going to show you that in just a second. Uh, handbrake comes uh, standard with this image. Uh, GTK record my desktop which is what I'm using right now to record this uh, desktop uh, video and uh, PDF viewer uh, uh, Brazil audacity flash player comes standard uh, and it's of course it's got all the repositories now maybe something you might not be f familiar with and this is the yum extender uh, and this is basically what's going to be your repository and your software uh, download application and also does updates for you. Uh, so we're, well, first thing we need to do is, unfortunately, since the wired, wireless doesn't work and we can't get the wireless to work until after uh, we do software update, we obviously have to be on the Internet. So you are going to have to plug into an Ethernet cable and turn the wire, wired uh, network on okay and now it's working so what we're going to do is we're going to go to menu and we're going to go all the way down to all applications and we're going to scroll to the bottom and do run the yum extender it's going to get all those available updates
Now, this uh, this first software update is going to be a big one. Um, I'm not necessarily sure um, how many how many updates are going to be available, but it, it's kind of a big one. So when it ah, look at that, uh, what do we got? Select all. I think it turns out to be like 900 or something, some unbelievable number, but. I'll tell you, it's the same with a lot of distributions. That first update is usually pretty big. All right. So what we're going to do is, while this is running, uh, I'm going to run these updates. And when we're done and I reboot the machine, uh, FileLab will ah, see. Ah, up here. It even says right 470 right here uh, under the shield for software update. So I'm going to go ahead and run these updates, and when they're done and I've rebooted, um, we're, I'm going to be back with you, and uh, we'll finish up. See you in a bit. Welcome back. Uh, we've ran all the updates, and so the system is all up to date now. So now we can run FileLap and install the wireless drivers. Preferences. FileLab, <clears throat> all right, now you'll notice that there are two choices as far as the wireless drivers. Um, I've always had good luck with the good luck with the KMod dash WL proprietary so I'm gonna pick that one and go apply changes put in our password And we're done. Uh, so it's going to require a restart in order for this all to take uh, take effect. Uh, so I'll be right back. Uh, so now we've uh, installed the uh, proprietary drivers for the uh, wireless, and so we'll come down and click and look and hold. Lo and behold, we have a list of wireless access points now available to us and this is actually the one for my house so I'm going to click on that one and we're going to type in the password and there we have it we are now connected to the wireless And that's pretty much all there is to it. Uh, we now have a working Linux operating system on our MacBook Pro with all these wonderful applications. Um, and it works very well. It's very fast. It's faster than... Um, faster than the Mac OS actually um, and it's smoother I have less glitches and less hang-ups from uh, from the operating system and I really like it and it's Linux and it's free and uh, it works pretty well now again this is the cinnamon desktop um, uh, you'll know they, they do the gnome and the uh, KDE and the XFCE desktop so uh, you have a choice of uh, flavors of uh, this operating system that you might want to try. But uh, thanks very much for watching, and I hope you enjoyed it, and I hope it uh, will inspire you, if you're a Mac user, to uh, give this a try. Um, uh, questions and comments below are definitely welcome, and please subscribe. Have a great day.